What's up guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to go over, let me fix my camera real quick. We're gonna go over GWT authentication bypass via, give me a second, JKU header injection. So let's read up a little bit about it and then let's uh, hop straight into um, the technicalities of how we are gonna do this. So here it says, instead of embedding public keys directly using the JWK header parameter like we did in the last lab, we just pasted it into the header and that's how we were able to uh, authenticate. Some servers let you use the JKU, JWK set URL header parameter to reference a JWK set containing the key. When verifying the signature, the server fetches the relevant key from this URL. Okay, so to verify the token and the signature, um, the server is gonna fetch the GWK key or you know the key from uh, the URL. So pretty self-explanatory. A JWK set is a JSON object containing an array of JWKs representing different keys. You can see an example below. These are all public keys. GWK sets like these are sometimes exposed publicly via a standard endpoint such as well-known GWKs, blah, blah. Okay, okay. So, based on this, uh, so we're gonna have to do the same thing. Let's access the lab. So I'm assuming we're going to have to paste our public key well, let's see and let's go here. We're gonna have to place our JWK inside and uh, what's it called? In, in the, it's still gonna be in the header. Well, no, the JKU is gonna be in the header, but we're gonna paste the key in the server. That way, uh, you know, it's able to fetch the uh, JWK, if that makes sense. Let's just get into the technical bit of it. And I'll explain as we go. Let's intercept this. Let's forward. Um, and let's change this to admin. And send to repeater. We should also take this and go to exploit server right here. For the file, we should change it to um, the suggestion they gave us here. The well-known jwks.json and for the body that is where we're going to post our jwk our key um if we look that back at what we were talking about before uh jwk provides an embedded json object representing the key so basically the key the public key so first we are going to go to jwc editor keys and we're gonna create a new RSA key. We're gonna press OK. And then we're gonna copy the public key. So now let's go back to repeater. Go back to this extension right here. Change this to admin administrator. So now that we go to the server, this is our key, right? A public key yeah now remember we have to follow this format of uh, let's do this keys then we have to exit out of this and then we have to add another one. That looks good. Let's store it. Now all we have to do is we have to change the KID to match the KID of the JWK, the token here. I mean the key, this key. So we can paste that. Then we have to specify the JKU in the header, just like this. 
we're gonna copy the URL completely paste that and we should be good now let's sign it with the public key let's not modify the header and send the request and there we go we have a 200 okay and as we see here we are administrator so show response in browser let's copy this let's turn intercept on and copy our JWT now let's delete the user Carlos let's specify the new token the new verified token and specify here and we are able to delete the user Carlos successfully and therefore completing the lab so again to kind of go over this server here I mean thankfully they uh, for sure uh, they provided us with one we were able to host the JWKs or the key or in this case just one the JWK in this server so the header we're gonna, just gonna uh, verify the signature by fetching the JWK from this URL. So, as long as the kid matches, uh, and you know that the server is able to uh, host the JWK, then you will be authenticated. So, this is a a neat little attack. Um, I definitely it took me a while to get this, um, specifically because. Um, I was having trouble with like uh, making my key um, you know it just it was a little bit of a learning curve but we got it um, thank you guys for watching in the next video we're gonna go over our last lab via kid header path traversal we're gonna talk about a little bit uh, preventative measures um, some best practices and then we are moving on from JW uh, T attacks into uh, something else so Thank you guys and uh, thank you for watching.